Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, thank Jesus Christ, guys. It's Friday. It's Friday, and you know what that means. We reach for the stars, and we take our Uber cars. Uber, 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 Uber. So, guys, on today's episode, you are not going to believe your ass on this one, okay? You're going to be sniffing. Because I got an amazing story here that I want to share with you from the, you know, from a beautiful newspaper called the New York Post. And the title is, I'm living in my car to beat the housing crisis. Here's how I blend in. So this is the heartwarming and just rest of your body warming, because if you live in your car, it becomes very hot. Okay, it's triple, it's triple digits. It's triple digits heats. It's triple digit heat out there. Your heart will be warmed and the rest of you will be warmed to the point of I would, physical danger. Because this is the beautiful story of Nikita Crump. Nikita Crump. As most of you know, I live in my car. Welcome. Who, let me read this again. Who beat the housing crisis by living in her car. I, you know, beat the housing market is one way to put that. <laughs> You know, many would describe that as being homeless would be another way to, I I beat the housing market by not having a home to live in. Take that housing market, you idiot. It's triple digits heats. I beat the healthcare crisis in the United States by just dying when I got sick. <laughs> Spent another bullshit day with me. Today I woke up, I realized I stunk, so I ripped my shirt off. That's how it flows. I contemplated why I'm even here. What is life? And then I made my bed, which lately just consists of me wadding up my blankets and hiding them under my pillow. So three hours later and 85 whopping degrees, oh, it's boy. time for me to no, no, no. take down. All right, I don't want anybody to have to deal with how I smell, so I'm using this room spray <laughs> as if it's perfume. I'm checking to I have all of my things before I go into the gym. So guys, where I do my learning is two places, obviously Prager University, and the second is YouTube. Okay, YouTube and other social media. YouTube and various other what I call short attention span social media is where I do most of my knowledge base. And one thing that I've learned about living in your car from social media is that everyone who does it is a model. I have been living out of a Honda Civic for the past couple of months now. I'm Janelle and I live in a van with my pet snake. So Giselle bunched in the backseat here, as I call her would lead us to believe also that, uh, which I disagree with, that if you live in your car, there's a tidiness to your car, apparently, in all these videos. The car seems relatively new looking. And then my friend just introduced me to peanut butter and honey sandwiches. So I'm having a little bit of that, like, every day lately. Let me tell you this, guys. Let me tell you, I'm going to tell you this right now, okay? I ate a cheesy gordita crunch in my automobile once, okay? I ate a CGC in my car, and the car has not been the same since. That was years ago. So I do not believe that you can live and eat in your car for two and a half years, as she said she, she does, and for every square inch of that car not to be covered in plastic cheese product, as is the, uh, you know, what happened to my car from the CGC. Gigi Hadid, I lock the door because I sleep in my car at night, is another joke I came up with. I just don't believe this. I think that this is a crisis actor, that this is some sort of operation to be like, hey, look, you know, the rent, rent we're just not going to do anything to fix uh, this housing problem where there's crazy statistics like, oh, you know, half of people can't afford their rent. Whoops. <laughs> So let's get some models in cars to be like, hey, look, models live in their car. <laughs> hey, models live in their car. The van life movement, it is a movement, by the way, uh, may conjure impressions of a freeing nomadic lifestyle in a nicely designed vehicle that looks great on social media. But North Carolina woman, but a North Carolina woman has taken a TikTok to show the honest side of living in an automobile. Nikita Crump who boasts 1 million followers on the app, has documented her experience of living in a Honda Civic. Sort of n want to note the irony here of Civic. Honda Civic. We should be taking Civic action here to deal with the housing crisis. <laughs> Which reportedly came from absolute necessity. After struggling to pay her rent on time and skipping meals to save money, all the while getting into debt despite working two jobs, she decided to call her car a home to avoid falling further into financial ruin. 
Ruin. Crump moved into her Honda in late 2019, and she has lived there ever since. Despite her candid discussions of what it takes to live this way, it is a way of avoiding today's exorbitant cost of living as inflation continues its tear. And the New York Post does try to spin this as a positive story. Like, it, it doesn't, they, the, it's not at the end you read it, and it's like, no, but seriously, she's just traveling around doing canoes or whatever out in the middle of nowhere, and, you know, she'll get a place soon, and no, they're, the New York Post is pitching this as, this is an option, guys. And I love this sentence. It is a way, it is a way of avoiding today's exorbitant costs of living, and that's t- technically true. I'm talking about language-wise. It is a way. Technically. So I live in my car, right. and I frequently get asked what I do when it's really warm at night. Oh, it is- good thing. Praise God. Praise the Lord. That's in the Bible. That, 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 that's in the Bible. This is the question I have. This, this was the one I was wondering right off the bat. So thank God. Okay, what's up? It's currently 85 degrees in here, so oh. I thought, what a great time to address this. Sniffing. So my answer, in short, is nothing. Okay. Okay. Then you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. If you're me, uh, you will wake up a skeleton, probably. You will wake up dead if you try this. So, okay. Good to know. This is not an option for me. Um, Thank you. I do have this rechargeable little fan. It doesn't do much, but it helps create a little bit of a draft. Oh, boy. And that's really it. I just deal with it. As most of you know, I live in my car. Oh, we get it. Welcome. Sniffing. Which means getting showered and getting ready is right. a little more challenging than it is for the average person. That, and even true. more so, getting like dolled up. Wipe your ass. So today with them. I'm gonna try something. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get all done up with my jackery. With my jackery. One thing that's sort of interesting about car life is you need an, an, an astonishing amount of gadgetry. You need a special tube uh, thing to wash your hair. If you're a model, which you are, you live in your car. That looks very expensive with a big uh, plastic tube. And one of her favorite uh, gadgets is uh, her jackery. My jackery. Which is a power source. But my friend gave me the idea to connect it to my Jackery Explorer 1500. The other day I was posted up charging my Jackery power station. About two months ago, I added a refrigerator to my car and everyone was like, what are you doing? You're going to kill your car battery. Yeah. And guys, it's fine. Oh, let me guess. Jackery. I'm using my Jackery. There we go. Jackery again. This Jackery 1500 will power this refrigerator for about 10 days or so without needing to be recharged. She's Jackerying us around with these affiliate products. (laughs) You you get it? You get it? To play on words there. So guys, I think it's pretty clear what's going on here that these institutional property owners have teamed up with the Jackery company. They inflate the housing costs, housing market, and then they hire these crisis actors to, you know. You failed again, you murdering trash. Right, exactly. This is going to be weird. They're going to think I'm weird. So part of living in a a cartment is um, some of the normal things of life are... Some of the normal things of life are a little bit challenging, you know what I mean? So it's good to get instruction from Nikita Crump on uh, some of the some of the more you know basic things of life. What do I do? You know, I gotta do this. What do I do? You know. Or what if I want to find a romance? What if I want to find rom- a romantic partner, as they, they're called? Then what? One thing I've been asked a lot about while living in a vehicle right. is how. I date. So I had this idea. I decided that I would interview some of the people that I have gone on dates with. Hi, I'm Nikita. Did I mention I live in my car? <laughs> this is gonna be weird. They're gonna think I'm weird. It was a weird thing. But- it would be weird, bro. Like, don't <laughs> act like it wouldn't be weird. What is going on? Really? Okay. Do you want the full version? Yes. Or You're the- terrible. Oh, okay. Your life's not good if you have to live in your car. I'll just be single forever. It's fine. Okay, that wasn't the most informative uh, segment there, but uh, I think I'm I'm thinking about adopting I'm thinking about adopting this lifestyle, car life. Let me do a little practice of what I would say to my romantic interest, to my crush, I call them. Okay, here we go. Wow, this this date's going really well. I re- I think we're really hitting it off. I really like you. But would you like to come hang out in my mobile cheesy gordita crunch sauna? 
where you can sit on top of my sandals. I don't know, maybe we could watch a movie or something in 15 hours after my Jackery charges, when the sun comes back up. My Jackery. It's triple digits heat. This is impossible to avoid. Dying in the heat. And if you're new here, I live in my car. Okay, I take we preventative get it. measures to try to keep it from getting broken into. Like at night, what? I will keep these window coverings up. That way people cannot see what is in here or that I am in here. Okay. I do keep some weapons like pepper spray and mace. And Jesus. I try to park in areas that are safer, more ideal, well lit. But again, it's impossible to avoid. And I actually oh, did God. have my car broken into three or four weeks ago now, back on December 16th, 2021. Oh. My portable power station, my Jackery. No, not the Jackery. <laughs> was stolen. My car refrigerator, my laptop, a lot of clothing items, all of my toiletries, and some miscellaneous. Despite the serious nature of her situation, she receives an array of comments on her posts, including, this looks so lonely, and Hotel Civic. Others, meanwhile, support her. Someone called her s s car let Johansson. Okay, I swear to God, that's the last one. No more. No more. I love your resilience, wrote one commenter in, in a July video, while another recent clip had another tell her, quote, supporting your journey through and through. One even learned tips of the trade. Thank you for this, another commented re commenter replied. I need to leave my place unexpectedly. This is unbelievably helpful. Oh, it, it's heartwarming. This is a heartwarming story, I believe. There's some pretty funny boomer replies in the uh, comment section. What's the big deal? I am retired. <laughs> I think this person might not have uh, truly grasped the nature of this story. What's the big deal? I'm retired and I spend months at a time living in my van. I've crisscrossed the country multiple times visiting relatives here and there and I enjoy it. Um, if that's called a road trip, so they, they don't usually take two and a half years. So that's just, and they're optional too. But she has the most expensive iPhone, I dash, capital I dash phone, it looks like. She could save cash by getting a lower cost phone, which would work just as well. That's definitely someone's me, mom. So someone asked her, so do you have a job? Sorry if that's rude to ask. Why is that rude to ask? Okay, here you go. Short answer, yes. Ah. When I started living in my car, I was working at a TJ Maxx. Wow. I was full time, but my hours were like the legal minimum. Didn't make hardly any money. Oh. Then I got a second job working with butterflies. And Whoa. I eventually was able to become full-time at that job, and I quit TJ Maxx eventually after That's working there part-time as a second job for a while. And then really recently, I just quit that butterfly job, which was a super cool job, but now I get to work full-time doing this kind of thing after my life changed so drastically after going viral on TikTok last year. So this is what I do now. Oh. That's on Short YouTube. answer. Oh, so the question is, do you have a job? And the short answer is... That's, 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 that's on YouTube. What do you do on YouTube? Sniffing. Okay. So, you know, people in the comments are pointing out, like, this seems like a stunt. This seems like a social media stunt. Could be. Could be. But uh, this really throws a wrench into the whole thing because, uh, you know, now she's getting millions of views from this. You know, eventually she's going to be in her car. She's like, oh, here I am in my car. You could see her... Hassan Piker mansion in the back. She's like, hey, maybe they'll let me in that house to do to do this. So this definitely seems like a lot of fun. You know, I'm watching these videos. I'm like, I could live in my car. I could live in my car. Um, but I, I would say definitely the way that the New York Post is framing it. Um, you know, it seems like fun to me, but definitely not. Uh, I would say I'm leaning toward no on a solution to housing. The housing issue, um, you know, as a solution to that problem, I would say you're terrible. You're, 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 you're terrible. That's enough. Come on. You are worthless. You are defending a country that does not deserve to be defended. Your traditions are disgusting. You're terrible. You're terrible. Your traditions are disgusting. You're terrible. Te te terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. Well, guys, it's Friday. Praise Allah. That's in the, that, 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 that's in the Bible. No, no, no. You know what it is. You know what we're trying to do out here. Uber, 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 Uber cars. Maybe when you get in those Uber cars, you can ask the driver, can I live here? Can I live here now? You know? My Jackery. What? Uber, 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 Uber cars. So, guys, hope you have a fun weekend. You know, get, get, you know, hey, hey, 
Hey, why not get into some trouble? Why not get into a little bit of trouble this weekend? Hope you get yourselves into all kind of stupid adventures and you do a little bit of this. <laughs> and a little bit of this. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. You're terrible. Your traditions are disgusting. You're terrible. Te- te- terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. This isn't some eighth grader going crazy on TikTok. Terrible. The smell got much stronger. You're terrible. Te- te- terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. That's on YouTube. Terrible. You're a moron. Terrible. Te- terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. You're terrible. Your traditions are disgusting. You're terrible. Te- te- terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. Nope. Done. Thank you. <laughs> Disgusting and probably illegal. terrible. You're terrible. Te- te- terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. That's, That's on YouTube. YouTube. That's so YouTube. YouTube. You're a moron. 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 Disgusting and probably illegal. You're terrible. Your traditions are disgusting. You're terrible. Te- te- terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. <laughs> Man, that's terrible. Terrible. The smell got much stronger. You're terrible. Te- te- terrible. You are worthless. Terrible. That's on YouTube. Terrible. You're a moron. Terrible. The United States is immoral. The United States has a history that's embarrassing. The United States is a sinful country that should be destroyed.